Gottlieb batter up motor board, scoreboard, um, relay board. Uh, I went through everything here. Got that done. We got a brand new power cord on with a ground. Real nice heavy duty cord. Um, as you can see, I got some parts here. Some weird parts just laying there. Um, I'm in the middle of rebuilding this. Um, I believe it's the pitch unit or hit unit. It is a hit unit. Um, if you can see really good, these contacts have taken a beating over the years. They should be nice and round. See how they got like a, a groove running through them? They should be more rounded off like that one. See, these ones are real bad. I believe this thing it should work good when I'm done with it. I'll show you what happens. Here. This is what does it. You can see how these are. Those, when these get dirty and um, rough, I'll be polishing these up when they're done. It's just cleaning right now. Uh, when they get rough, the grease dries up or it's bad grease, they um, grind into the unit. This is the rest of the unit. I have to take apart it and grease it yet, but I had to degrease this first. It was all greasy. There's a big glop of water. Um, it was very greasy. This whole gear was greasy. This gear will go right through there and operate these. Once everything's fully dry, I just get it here on a towel. I have a fan over that way that dries all this stuff off. These were all greasy. This should never be greasy. This is the plunger that goes in a coil. This actually operates this up and down, so that should be dry. This should be dry. The teeth should have a little oil on them, but it was just globbed and greasy. So, that's why this is all apart. I had to put a new coil stop on here because the other one is actually broke off inside this coil. And I think it split the coil. Yeah, you can see this line right here. And actually crack the coil. You should be able to see through it like that. This is a brand new coil sleeve. I know some people are um, cheap and reuse them. Everything I do gets a brand new coil sleeve unless the coil is built in with the sleeve like some older ones are, some really old machines. Uh, this got a brand new coil sleeve in it. Um, I did find one or two spinners uh, on one of these. I had to fix them. Spinners is this, um, the contact that's between here. You can see how there's two contacts. There's one on this leaf right there, and then there's a shiny gold one on that leaf. Um, what happens... These are riveted on. Let me see if I can get a better zoom on that. See, it's riveted on. Just like on the back. I have to clean this yet. But anyways, they're riveted on. And over the years, especially with Gottlieb, but they just get loose. And instead of being firm, firmly attached to the leaf, they are loose and then they get a little wiggle to them where they spin. They actually will spin when I clean them. That's why I call them spinners. Uh, that's not good, even though that they go like this and make contact. If each contact is not tight onto the leaf, even if it does that to touch each other, you may not get a contact just because it, it's loose. So 
I go through and I solder the spinners up so they're not dead and they work. Um, this was high tapped. I took it off high tap. I don't know why it was high tapped. I'm guessing things were sticking and not working in the way they used to be. So somebody pulled this wire off here and soldered it on here. As you can see, this says high and that's normal. Um, old machine with modern electric in a house should never need to be high tapped. High tapped actually just gives all the coils and um, solenoids more juice to do their job. However, with that more juice, um, if you got something stuck, um, you will burn it out very quick. Trust me, I know that from experience. So I always take machines off high tap and put them back on normal. So there were sticky things on this machine. I think they high tapped it to eliminate the sticky machines, no, the sticky parts on the machine or things not working correctly. I figured they thought maybe high tapping it would solve that. Um, I, I, like I said, I always take that off. It's just, it's more trouble than what it was originally worth. Um, went through the Jones plugs, cleaned them, tightened them up, put in a sticker for the fuse, verified the fuses were correct. Added a brand new fuse on this one because this, this had a 20 amp fuse in the 15 amp spot. Um, those, I cleaned up all the, um, clips on there too. Oiled the motor. There's an uh, oil well in the motor that needs to be oiled so that's motored i mean oiled um i went through all the switches on the score motor everything seems to be working correctly we will find out once um this is up and running it um it seems like to, to be all this solid so i guess that's the update for today um but yeah i have to put that together and then i have to vacuum out the cabinet as you can see it's all full of junk and stuff but yeah when that board is out it lets me get in here and vacuum this out so it's nice and clean and then i usually polish these bolts up these hold you can see here here and here those hold that board down and i gotta rebuild the chime unit i do got a rebuild kit for the flippers and I got a rebuild kit for the chimes. So what it is is these rubber grommets that are on here, they get hard and wore out and then they just don't do anything like they're supposed to. So I have to disassemble that whole thing and um, rework it. And I guess that's about it for um, the batter up update today. So like, subscribe, and um, take care, and later. My thumb's dirty.